Hello and welcome to a recap of today's open source hangout. Today we've been working on this uh, Open Civi Wiki project and reviewed three community contributions as part of our All Contributors initiative. Uh, we're accepting many types of contributions. The primary um, contributors today uh, were th um, through code and documentation. Our contributor count is up to 89. Amazing. This is incredible. Let's take a quick look <laughs> at the uh, contributions that we reviewed in today's Hour of Code. We are now using pre-commit. Pre-commit allows us to run kind of low-level um, tasks on our code every time we commit a change via git. Those tasks include things like linting and checking the syntax of stuff, formatting with black, sorting imports, making sure we're using the latest and greatest Python and Django features, and curly lints. And all you got to do when you get this uh, project cloned on your local computer, after setting up poetry and uh, activating the Python virtual environment, Installing the dependencies, of course, run this command pre commit install. From then, uh, it'll run like an initial installation. It takes a minute, minute or so to download all these environments. But after that, every time you commit, it's going to run a series of checks on all the code that you're that you have staged. So only the files that are staged, it'll run those these pre commit checks on those, you know, so that we don't have to kind of lint each other's code. We'll let the computer handle that for us. <laughs> There's been a few few lints that I've caught in these pull requests that I've just fixed. But now, good. We're good to go. So yes, moving up. Next improvement. Oh yes, this was, I'm sorry, contributed by Needsweeds from Warsaw, Poland. Thank you very much, Needsweeds. We have added you to our all contributors list. Add Django debug toolbar by Davo. Django Debug Toolbar is a nice project. It, in your development environment, it gives you this toolbar that tells you certain things about what's going on, such as how many milliseconds the page took to load and how many database queries it took and how much CPU time was spent and what kind of hooks were fired and a bunch of other little things that you can use to diagnose problems and optimize your Django app performance. We're really wanting to squeeze the most out of this Django framework that we can. We're all in on Django. We're no longer going to be splitting across the client server mentality. This is a monolithic, full stack web application. Django debug toolbar for the win. You can't really do stuff like that when you, you know, you can't get the full value out of the Django framework and ecosystem when you split it into just being a REST server. You really miss quite a lot. Django debug toolbar is one of those. Nice touches. And this comes out of a developer experience um, mentality. We're trying to improve the developer experience in this project and other open source projects. So things are very simple, easy to understand, easy to get started. And it holds you know, our hand along the way. We don't want to put too much of our mental effort into solving low level framework -y details. We want to really be thinking high level at the level of the problems we're trying to solve, which is quite monumental one. We're trying to reboot a democracy in a way. Like what we're reviewing this project as, it's sort of the GitHub of democracy. You see a problem and identify the cause of that problem, come up with an idea or a solution for that problem and promote your solution and get other people involved with it and let them kind of fork your solution and, and uh, add their own ingredients to it and contribute them back. And that's how we get direct civic engagement not have to have some bureaucratic um, politicians involved serving other uh, you know, corporate interests and such. Uh, we want direct civic engagement, direct participatory democracy, uh, get help for democracy in 2022. Add rich support. This is another developer experience improvement where we want to, uh, hey, Brahim, welcome to the live stream. I'm doing a... <laughs> recap here but it's a good question how can i ask for a good issue well this is uh, exactly how these other uh, contributors have found us 
you can stop by the CiviWiki uh, project on the issues page. And there's a, we got a couple of uh, um, tags or keywords we're using here. We, I recommend this good first issue. We're also making sure everything is flagged with Hacktoberfest. So any of the uh, issues you do take, you'll get credit for your Hacktoberfest participation. Good first issue are usually the ones that are like, well, relatively easy. Uh, but I know that that's a big, there's a lot of caveats there. So I'm also available to help with any questions or uh, concerns or, you know, any difficulties you encounter. I'll even uh, sometimes, you know, commit code directly to your branch if there's some kind of tangles. We've had a few tangles lately with regards to uh, Poetry Lock, for example, has been giving us a bit of a hassle. But yeah, just check out these good first issue. When you find an issue you want, just go ahead and say, add a comment to that issue saying, I want this issue. I'll assign you to that issue. And uh, that way we know who's working on what. There's not a lot of them that are unassigned right now. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to make, uh, to populate the backlog a little bit more. I just don't have the time right now. I'm a little bit tired to this evening. But um, um, if there's not an issue here for you, Brahim, go ahead and just open up a discussion here. And we'll get something set up for you. And I'll make sure again that it's tagged with Hacktoberfest and that it's going to be a good first issue. I do have several issues in my mind that I, we need to get into the backlog. I just haven't uh, uh, haven't had time really to describe those right right now. So the final, uh, we get this pre commit and let me make sure where I was. Add the Django debug toolbar and rich support. Okay, there we are. <laughs> Rich support is another developer experience improvement. Basically, it gives us nicely formatted log messages in our console. So I suppose I can probably show this um, picture, maybe. Quick start. Mm, shoot. Come on, Rich. Show me the log. Show me the log. Introduction. Yeah, well, I guess this was the example. Kind of gives you color coded, nicely formatted logs uh, in your environment. And, you know, just easier on the eye, uh, helps you spot errors. And uh, again, we're just trying to improve developer experience. And I like these uh, emojis. Extra points for adding emojis in your commit messages. Very cool. So thank you, Aporva, Aporva, Kashyap. The lazy bipedal specimen with a little knack for coding on planet Earth. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Well, that's it. Rahim, thanks for stopping by the live code hangout. I appreciate it. It's Robot and uh, Srikant. Also, thank you for stopping by. Sorry, uh, Srikant, I didn't uh, see your message in time. I'll try to be... I got the chat right here in my peripheral vision. I just was kind of really hyper-focused and must... You know, I missed the messages. I'm not sure how many... Uh, how long it took me to be, before I noticed them. I'll try to be more attentive next time. Well, thanks again for stopping by. And uh, if you'd like to get involved with the CiviWiki project, stop by github.com slash CiviWiki slash OpenCiviWiki. And we'll get you set up with an issue or bring your ideas to discussion any way you want to contribute we're welcome to many types of uh, skills and abilities it's not all about code there's a lot of ways to get involved with open thanks a lot for your time again and have a great day i hope you're doing well